So we're taking a look at doing Venn diagrams that involve three categories on this video. Um, you just got to be pretty careful about the information you're given and put it in one piece at a time. So we're going to take a look at this question here. Now you can pause the video and read it if you want. Um, it's about a cinema uh, manager got some data about 163 tickets that were sold to a particular showing of Captain Marvel and whether they bought popcorn, drink and confectionery with those tickets. But for now, I don't want you to get stuck on the details. Just know that there was popcorn, drink and confectionery options and then we're going to fill those in. So we start with this uh, diagram with the three circles for popcorn, drink and confectionery. Now, the first bit of information we were given is that there are 163 tickets. So we put 163 up at the top of our diagram that contains all of the possible outcomes. The total has to come to 163. We're also told that 12 people bought popcorn, a drink and confectionery. So all three things. So that's the number that goes right in the middle of our diagram just there. So we can put 12 in the middle. Next, we were told that 44 people bought popcorn and a drink. So now that, that's 44 in total of where the popcorn and drink overlap. So that's that section just there. So all of that section has to add up to 44 and we've already got 12 in part of it. So what's left is 32. We've got 33 people that bought confectionery and a drink. So we're looking for where they overlap. And that total has to add up to 33. So the bit that's left for drink and confectionery but not popcorn is 21. Next we're told that whilst 59 people bought confectionery, 12 people only bought confectionery. So 59 people in total for our green circle for confectionery but only 12 of them bought confectionery on their own and not popcorn and drink so that 12 is the next thing we're able to put in. So that can go just there. They only bought confectionery, not a popcorn or a drink. So now we've got the total for the 12, the 12 and the 21. That comes to 45. And we know the total circle for confectionery adds up to 59. So the missing part is 14. Next, we're told that 20 people didn't buy any popcorn, confectionery or drink. They just went and saw the movie just with the ticket. So that's 20 on the outside. They don't go in any of those circles. And finally, the number of people who bought only popcorn was equal to the number of people who bought only a drink. So the last two numbers that are left to fill in will be equal. So we know that the confectionery adds up to 59. If we add on the 32 and the 20, that gets us 111 accounted for so far. And the total overall has to come to 163. That means there's 52 left and they're split equally between only popcorn and only drink. So we get 26 in each one. Just ignore that little random two that's stuck down there at the bottom, but we're just going to skip ahead to a question you could be asked about this. So, for example, the manager picks a ticket at random to receive a free drink. What's the probability that she picks someone who hasn't already bought a drink? So we want the number of people that haven't already bought a drink. So that's the 26, 14, 12 and 20 that's sitting outside of that drink circle, which comes to 72. So our probability will be 72 out of the total of 163. 